In the last video, we talked about the importance of reference material. Well, one thing I neglected to talk about was inspirational images. So whenever I see a cool painting on the internet, I'll throw it into my inspiration folder. So what I've got here is a giant folder full of all sorts of cool stuff. So if you don't have an inspiration folder yet, start one today. It is the easiest thing you can ever do, and it gives you incredible inspiration when you maybe can't think of what to draw. But here's a warning. Mine has 778 paintings in it. In some ways, that's great. But in some ways, it's horrifying. This has become an unwieldy beast that's a challenge to sort through. So in control paint fashion, I want to show you guys something that I wish I had known years ago. This is one of those good habits that if I would gotten into when I first started making my inspiration folder, I'd be a much happier guy right now. The secret solution is Adobe Bridge. This is one of those softwares that until two weeks ago, it was always installed, but I never really knew what it did. So I didn't use it. This window you see here, this is how Windows displays it. It's fine. And this is Bridge. You're looking at the exact same folder, but it's got a few changes that make all the difference. First off, if you've ever used iTunes, some of this will seem familiar. You can make collections, which are like playlists in iTunes. We are not actually copying any of the files, but you're just creating lists or groupings that you like. So if you're working on a painting, you might have a grouping of different images that all have to do with that one painting. So I'm not putting them in a subfolder, it's just a reference to the same file. So here I have a bunch of cloud pieces because I'm working on something that involves clouds. Well, it goes deeper than that. If you've ever looked at photos on Flickr, you know that they can have categories called tags. So something might both be sky, but also Christmas. And this subcategorization is incredibly useful for sorting anything. And now that I've got almost a thousand paintings in my inspiration folder, these tags or subcategories are incredibly useful. So you can go to the filter menu and then filter by tag. So I can say, well, I want to look at environment. And then all of a sudden, only the images that have the environment tag within my inspiration folder are shown. As you can see here, not many. This is because I did not get in the good habit when I got all these images. So now I have the fun task of going through all of my existing inspiration and giving them tags. But once I do, I have a much more manageable and useful inspiration folder. So the important takeaway here is organization. I'm going to say that again, organization. Computers have a funny way of getting cluttered. You've got thousands of pictures, none of them have names, and then all of a sudden when you need that one and you have a deadline, it's hard to find. So getting in a good habit now is going to save you way more time in the long run. And it's not necessary to get Bridge. I know there's some other softwares that do very similar features. For instance, Google offers a free software called Picasa, which does a lot of the same stuff. The important thing is that you understand being organized matters. So hopefully you'll start early and be smarter than I was. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any additional ways to stay organized, please tell us about it in the comments. We can all use the help.